It is quite unfortunate that some cleaning preneurs do not take security seriously. Some of you do not conduct background checks or do any kind of KYC before employing cleaners. So for some of you, your employment process is, hello, can you clean? Or oh, yeah, come, let me employ you. Have you cleaned, done post-construction cleaning before? Yes, ma. Have you done deep cleaning before? Yes, ma. Or oh, yeah, come and work for me. So one of our trainees informed us um, a few days ago doing a, a check-in session that one of her cleaners ran away with her vacuum cleaner machine for over seven months now according to her she employed this guy from another cleaning preneur like um, there was a cleaning company that was shutting down and the owner gave her the contact of this cleaner saying she uses this cleaner so she can use the cleaner as well and this lady assimilated this guy into her own company and the guy ran away with her cleaning machine we all know how much cleaning machines cost right now, especially you, you all know that vacuum cleaners are 100k and above right now, on a budget of 100k and above right now. Now imagine if that guy had stolen something very important like gold or diamond or jewelry or money from a client's house. She did not do any background check on him. She didn't do any KYC on him. In fact, the person who handed the cleaner over to her that has been using that guy does not also have any details about the guy. So for the past five, uh, five, six, seven months now, her vacuum cleaner has been missing. She has no way of getting the guy because she doesn't have the address. She didn't do any background check. Now this is the essence of background checks. At Cheek Clean, we do not employ any cleaner without conducting KYC and background checks. We do not because we are always aware that anything can go wrong. I'm the kind of person that don't wait for bad things to happen before I take precautions. I'm constantly always thinking about the bad things that can happen. I'm not one of those people who always say, oh, God forbid it will not happen to me. God forbid it will not happen to me. Before it gets to that time it will happen, I've already found a way to avoid bad things happening. So it's not all about god forbid it's not my portion god forbid it's not my portion you also have to take the precautions necessary to protect your business and to protect your clients so let us always bear in mind our security not just our security that of our clients when we are employing these cleaners